As you can see, I'm having another stab at an online video. Um, I'm just trying out uh, my new case, which I bought for my Packard Bell BG45U300. Um, I thought about a cheapy neoprene case, but uh, I don't really believe that they would give uh, the notebook enough um, protection. So I settled on the Ellicom Zero Shock 3 super shock absorption uh, notebook bag. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be a bit of a tight fit. Um, as you can see it should fit in no trouble but it's the width you can see there that's my real worry. So let's open it up. It's sealed bag. Uh, it's hard to see here, but Ellicom is actually uh, a Japanese company. Uh, they're one of the biggest uh, peripheral manufacturers in Japan um, and have made uh, a lot of uh, mice, cables, controllers, bags, what have you. Um, in many ways, they probably produce a, a larger range of products than, say, Logitech. Um, but Logitech are, I would say, generally slightly better company. In terms of their product quality. But Alcom, nice Japanese make, as you can see. This is all English bags um, text. It's um, actually uh, the, it's not an import, it's a proper European version. Um, so let's just see. As you can see there, got the zip up front compartment. Let's see how this goes. One of the benefits I heard about of this bag is, as you can see, full size. Rather than neoprene, what they've used is a heat reactant uh, substance. So if I push that in, you can see that that doesn't immediately pop back. It's kind of the similar stuff that they use in mattresses uh, a lot these days, or mattress toppers where it moulds to the shape of the person but is actually very tough on impact. So let's see if it actually fits. Hmm, it's going to be... It should be alright actually, I think. As you can see, unlike a lot of the cheaper cases, it has a bead at the edges. So, let's see how it is. Oh, this has proven to be a bit tough. but it should fit nonetheless. I don't know what thickness of laptop they were expecting for this, but this is rather tough. But it does fit. I'm not sure I would want to try and squeeze anything else in there because you can see there's a lot of bend around it. I think they were expecting a thinner laptop than the BG45, which is a bit surprising because the BG45 is hardly um, a, like a fat laptop. Um, I would guess by the photograph what they're expecting is something much more akin to the uh, MacBook Air, but it's a 12.1 inch case. The MacBook Air is a 13 inch laptop, so I'm not entirely sure quite what they were thinking there. The finish, as you can see, is really nice. It's, it matches well with the, uh, the, uh, the Packard Bell, which also has a nice matte outer, fitted, uh, outer casing. And it also reflects it a bit with this slightly silvery white beading, which again matches the, the Packard Bell. Um, apparently it's Weaven Reven protection gear, which I'm not entirely sure that means anything. Um, as I said, rather packed out with the BG45. I'm not sure you could get much in there other than a CD. Um, I believe for thinner laptops the idea is, is you keep some cables in there, but really I can't see that happening uh, with the Zero Shock. Um, first things first, it does seem very well produced. Even the zippers seem to use a really nice little 
lens. There's not your usual like low quality silvery zippers on a black thread. Everything seems to be made to really understand. Now there's always the pro worry that this is crushing the BG45 a wee bit. You can see the matte finish there. Matte finish. So if I was going to give this a star rating, which seems very arbitrary, just on first looks, I would give it about four stars. It's not perfect for the BD45, but I have a feeling this would protect the laptop a lot more than some of your cheaper cases. Anyway, that's my first attempt at the video. Bye!